Bam, and welcome to Golftopia, everybody. Today we're making a golf course of the future. Wow. So, welcome to our beautiful map where we're going to be building our golf course. Uh, it's looking pretty, pretty kind of bare, pretty islandy at the moment. And so we got to get this show on the road. Uh, first of all, every good golf uh, course, golfatorium, I don't know what they call them. I'm not really a super golf golf man, uh, as you may know from previous games. No, no, the, the kid did stop my skills. Maybe we can drag one in front of a car. But uh, we gotta get our like HQ down. Very attractive, wow. Uh, so this is a golf course of the future. And so we kind of are gonna be taking a couple of, couple of liberties with, you know, what actual golf is. So if you thought you knew about golf, throw all of that out of the window right now. Let's get our first hole going. So we put our uh, teeing off point down and then we've got a hole. So simply enough, that can be the hole, but we need to get like the fairway going on. Oh, just straight over there. Something like this. And maybe get the green like a little bit. A little bit bigger so you can do a bit more putting how is this looking at the moment challenge very low uh, so we can actually see how people would be like playing this god a lot of people just shooting off to the side okay uh not the not the most difficult uh we can make it a little bit wackier so if we go to the golf structures ooh, like a ball launcher do you want a ball launcher right here uh, and I think if we increase the attractiveness a hundred percent, so everyone tries to hit towards the ball launcher. Let's see how this is looking now. Uh, okay. Wow. If, okay. If they hit the ball launcher, they massively overshoot. We might need to extend our green just a fraction. Uh, we're kind of a bit limited by the map. Craziness is low on craziness. Not the most exciting rating. We need some other bits like. What if a golf wants to play at night? Uh, that's right. We can bring, like, lighting in here. So that will make them like it a little bit more. We don't have any decorations, but we'll worry about decorations later on. And I guess we could just, like, have a little tweak with the terrain. That looks nice. And maybe we get a decoration. Like an... Like an archway? <laughs> just, like, straight away? Do like a big arch? That, like leads you to this from this place sure okay of course bam right we're opening it up uh you too buddy uh except and so hopefully our first golfers will actually begin to arrive and we can start making some money uh there's kim there's melissa there's reese our drone don't worry about him he's just making sure no one is cheating at golf and so hopefully they're gonna come along and huh, the first shot. Oh my god, wow. Excellent use of the old ball launcher. Very good. Like, you know, they made it onto the green straight away. Wow, both of them did. Wow, you've got a real, like, swagger to you, Reese. What's going on with the old crazy arm? Oh. Oh, they still enjoyed it. They still like that. Oh, <gasps> Reese. Good work. Wow, they got, like, two. What was the par for this hole? Uh... On average, people were doing it in like kind of two or like, I don't know, was it like three? Three shots? Okay, so these guys, uh, we've got magic powers that we can use, subliminal skill injections. Right, they use a bit of power, but hopefully makes everyone that little bit better. Uh, meaning that they're going to have more fun because, you know, everyone likes to win, right? We'll take this and come around here because we should actually probably be getting more holes. Maybe we should have built more holes before we even open this whole place up. Right, we'll have another T by there. Sure. Okay, we've got a lot of rocks, but we can we can kind of kind of work with that. Hmm, that looks kind of tough. You kind of want to like bonk it over. Maybe we can give them a tiny like section. And then what other like fun traps can we use? Bumpers. Okay, right. This this will be this will be fun for the whole family. Uh, so. It, uh, it's just gonna try and like bump you back towards the hole. See that ball through the mega wicket, their mood will increase. Um, based on the distance traveled. 
Lower wickets are more exciting than higher ones. Mega wickets, useful to help shape the path. Do you want to look there? If people are aiming for this anyway? Okay, this is kind of taking shape. I feel like we need some other, like, treats going on here. Most people struggling to make it through the mega wicket. Not very challenging. That is not what we wanted. We wanted it very challenging. Craziness is high, though, so that's good. Maybe if we'd, like, make them golf more around and coming from one side. Uh, okay, some people do aim for this bit. Wow. Uh, okay, right, this bit is working exactly as planned. God, it's a bit of a mess. And you know what? We'll put a sand trap here to catch any of the balls. Oh, I know how we could uh, force them into uh, playing our game. So it makes like that direct shot really hard, but from here, much easier. Okay. Love that. Still a low challenge. Uh, oh, nice. We're making some money. Very good. Okay, great. People are playing by our stupid rules. And <laughs> every now and again, God, like if your ball gets like just bonked out of there, that's a sad day for everyone involved. Uh oh, we are like losing money. We might just have to open this bad boy and get people playing because we need some cash. One thing that we can do, orbital extortion. Bonk. That we can make all of our guests sad and steal some of their money. Hooray! So we can't afford to buy any of the extra bits of the map, but I kind of feel like you want to like work your way around the whole island. Right, I want to see. I want to see someone like blasted in there. Angela, is it going to be you? What's the rules? Is it like whoever's like furthest back has to like take the first shot? Chris, are you going in? Oh, Chris, you just got sand. Oh, they didn't mind it. <gasps> okay, everyone's just going for the sand. Angela, she seems relatively happy. Diego. Oh, Diego, come on. You could have hit that way more, way more entertainingly. Maddox. Oh my God, Maddox. Okay. Wow. Oh my God, out of the sand trap, straight into the hole. <laughs> okay, Angela. Yeah, I, I'd probably feel pretty bad about that as well. That was bullshit. Okay, so we do have all of this land here, but I kind of want to, like, come out in a different direction. Maybe, like, this way. Bonk. And start coming down over here. Uh, so, the next course... Which direction do you want to go? Like, just out and then around? I guess we have to choose one way. Uh, we'll go clockwise because we're not savages. The next teeing off. We could even have like a little kind of chill, chill area if we wanted to. Because by this point, some of the guests are starting to get a little bit tired. So like kind of treating them with like a bench. Maybe snacks. Who doesn't like snacks? The weeds are blooming. Oh no, where? Where's the weed cam? Down here. Okay, right, we've got to be careful of weeds. Uh, we've got money. So, weeds have like a weird... There's this kind of weird tower defense mechanic in this game. Based around weeds. Kind of into it. It's kind of cool. Uh, when guests complain, weeds sprout up. Um, and... Uh, then when people see weeds, they complain more. And so you've got to keep fighting the weeds. Otherwise, your park will be overrun and destroyed. Um, luckily, one way you can do it is via gun. And so this laser gun will hopefully guard this part of our park from weeds. The little drones, they'll go out and clean up too, but they're not nearly as good as the gun. Sure, that's like a nice long one. And then after that, we'll come down and we'll go, uh, I guess we'll have to buy another piece of land. Ah, that's fine. We could, we could maybe go this other direction. Right, how are we gonna make this one weirder? So what have we used? We haven't used the hyper bumpers, so we can make like a big like pinball machine in the middle that people have to get past. Uh, wickets, ring of fire. Well, when is that ever gonna be bad? After that, assuming they get through it, bounce pad. Uh, bonk. I guess we could have like a little, a little bit of water here. Can we just lower the train and does that make water? Ah, <gasps> it does. Yeah, like a, give it like a little, Make like a little, a little lake area. Nice, because you've got to be careful, otherwise the old Bouncertron is going to send you straight into the lake. Not what you want at all. 
No, sir. <laughs> uh, and I guess the green. Green can be nice and big. Uh, here, have a bit of fairway. Uh, yeah, you got to aim specifically for this area. And then something like, something like that. Sure. That looks like pretty, pretty simple. Okay. Does anyone make it through the ring of fire? No. Okay, it's medium challenge at the moment. Uh, best score four, worst score ten. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, people find it pretty, pretty balanced though. Let's put sand trap in here. So anyone that's going this side has a really, just a really bad day. Um, you have to go for the ring of fire. Okay, ring of fire. Oh no, they're all just shooting way too low. Oh, this is quite like a nice looking, very, whoa, that's a big, that's a big bit of rock. Okay, it's kind of savage because you're having to hit and you can't even see. You just have to take the leap of faith on the ring of fire right there. Uh, you know what? Pretty good. Kind of into that. Let's give them some trees. Let's just... Oh, man. This area, whole area, very dense. This is like the Wild Kingdom part. So dense. Okay, everyone's having like a pretty good time over there. These guys, they get to have a rest. Uh, they're a little bit thirsty, so I don't think we need one uh, drinks machine here. So maybe we can like clean up this area. Maybe this bit should be like cut rough. I think people get mad if you do construction work around them. Okay, no, they seem to be fine. Right, cut rough, that seems okay. Like, it makes it look, you know, it's more part of the course. Uh, okay, the whole place is looking like pretty busy now. Can I extort these guys? Yeah, there's like a little bit of, that's a little bit of cash. Uh, so something else that we can do is, here, Dr. Manager. Okay, so we are in the game. Look, it looks just like me. He's got the bright purple mohawk, uh, wears an orange vest. Very good. And so we are actually allowed to play golf on our own course. Uh, so, where are we aiming for? At the moment, we're not a very skilled golfer. Can we hit that? Uh, it's like pretty close. And we ride our hoverboard to get there. Oh. Okay, what's the path for this one? We've seen someone do this in two before. Uh, oh no, it was so close. Okay, so we, we got four. Oh no, we've got to wait. So the idea of this is like we get to see um, kind of what, what is going on, you know, how, how long the course is taking, what areas are slowing down, where we should put, put stuff. Um, my boredom is increasing. So, oh, maybe we want some decorations around here. Okay, right, that's time to golf. Through the wicket. Yeah, okay, that got rid of the boredom. That made us pretty happy. Oh, but I'm waiting again, and I'm bored. I'm quickly getting very bored of this, other golfers. Nice. On the fairway, every step of the way. And let's try and get some dings. Oh. Oh, we done goofed. Nice. Look how much fun that was, Dr. Manager. Uh, okay, let's go a little bit harder than last time. Oh. Okay. Okay. Right. Blocked by another group. Yeah, we need we need some entertainment further along as we go. Uh, but luckily, as we play, we are just kind of like raking in the cash. And that is very good. Okay, I want to try and aim for this through the ring. We just didn't even get close. We just didn't even get close to that. I don't think that we're going to be able to hit it far enough to go over the lake. This hole. Who designed this hole? Some asshole. We're going to have to play it safe, do a short shot, and then just as far as you can. Good. Good job. Okay, this whole area could be could be a bit more fun. Maybe put some, like, bouncy, bouncy guys in. Yeah, like, I think... The start of this hole, very cool. You've got like the lake, you've got the stuff, and then there's just like a whole load of just distance. Nice. Okay. Course opinion. Course opinion dropped a little bit on this one. It's too dark. Okay. 
My destination's too far away. Oh, because they've got to walk all the way back from there. Right. Okay, we can fix some of this. How much is this? We can put transportation pipes in. So we can take them home. Oh, what is this? Master gadgetry. We've got a load of money. And with all that money, we can upgrade the base. Bonk. Uh, now we can make a driving range, putting green, lawn mowers. Great. That costs a whole bunch, bunch of cash, but it unlocks some new treats for us. Okay, so now people can, hopefully, yeah, when they're done. Is Dr. Manager going to ride it? Boom! They go through the pipe, they future armor their way along, and you can just go all the way back to the base. And just have a good old time. Uh, how do we make this area a tiny bit more exciting? Let us put, oh yeah, ball launchers. They sound kind of hilarious. Do we just get a bunch of these in here? Oh, people are upgrading their memberships because we've got like a fancier place. That means uh, people are more more into, into like hanging out here. Very good. Okay, right, I think I did just upset all of these people with noisy construction. I'm so sorry about that. But we wanted to make the the whole place a little bit more exciting. Oh god. Wow! Oh my god, they like blipped in the water and then like bounced out. Maybe that is like too too unforgiving. Nice. Look how much fun that was. The wall bounced twice. Good work. Awards. What are these awards from downtown? We can get an award for having a ball pass through more than one mega wicket. Uh, God, they're gonna get annoyed. Look, if we make it a lot taller, increase that attractiveness. Let's see. Let's see how people people find that. Maybe we get like a cool award. Maybe there's like a fun cheese. Uh, pow! So that's the start of our little little sci-fi golf course. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, seeing as we are now expert golfers and all we do is play golf games. Um, and maybe we'll maybe we'll do some more of this. Wow! All of these guys liked it. I hope you like it too. Goodbye.